gentlemen, you are here live on Stack Monster Productions for the 47th annual Morris County Tournament Final between the number one seeded Chatham Cougars and the number two seeded Randolph Rams. This is the Stack Monster. We're coming to you live on recorded television from County College of Morris. So get ready as the players warm up down on the court. Let's go take a look. There they are down there on the court. There's the Randolph Rams. And if we pan past my face, down there is the Chatham Cougars. So ladies and gentlemen, strap on your seatbelt, fill up your tanks, rev up your engines, and get ready for some basketball action on Stat Monster Productions. Ladies and gentlemen, here come the Randolph Rams onto the court, the number two seeded team against the one lost Chatham Cougars. The hearts are pumping and the joint is jumping as we get ready for basketball action while the players take their warm-ups with 14 minutes till opening tip. Coming at you live on recorded television from the County College of Morris in Morris County, New Jersey. Go figure. Ladies and gentlemen, the players break the huddle. The introductions are done. Coach Matt Ty goes over final instructions. The Randolph Rams come in at 18 and five. Rank number two as seeded in this tournament. They'll start, they'll open the game up front with number 44, Luke Nathan, number 35, Mike Sasso, number 15, Chris Cheng. In the backcourt, number two, junior, Ryan Maughan, and number 30, senior, Julian Boykin. Shadam Cougars counter down low with 34, Colin McKenna. Number five, Stephen Goals. In the backcourt, number 15, Tristan Lamont. Number 13, Jake Kevich. And number three, Jack Rooney. Opening tip, controlled by Chatham. Rooney has it. Handles, guarded by Cheng. They flip it left. looked one way, his teammate went the other, and Ryan Maughan has it for Randolph. 15 seconds gone in the opening quarter. They flip it, they swing it right. Cheng has it, guarded by Bevich. Pass inside. They kick it back out, swing it around the perimeter. Cheng takes it left. Bevich gets around the screen. Cheng's shot is off to the left. McKenna with the rebound. They look to push the ball to the Cougars. Rooney into the paint. He misses, tip back out to McKenna. McKenyon in the corner, Rooney from three, no good. Front rim, kicks to Bevich. Bevich with the right hand, gives the Cougars a two nothing lead. Sasso, over to Mon. Mon number two, guarded by Russo. There's a look, just off the front of the rim. A miss by Nathan, Mike Sasso with the rebound. Mike Sasso, Mike Sasso! Score the bucket, 2-2, two, two. 6.54 in the clock, Sass over the line. I gotta pick up the camera as fans are going berserk already. And we're just getting started, ladies and gentlemen. Number 35, Sasso, back iron, no good. Grabbed by Goals. Number five, Stefan Goals. Killed by Ryan Mon! Ryan Mon! Lose it to handle, on the ground. I've got to stand up. There's a shot off the back rim. Oh, I gotta do something. I keep getting heads in my way. Ball still out of bounds by Rooney. Rooney wants a foul call, doesn't get it. It's a 2-2 game and Randolph has it. Vaughn brings it down court. He's got Cheng to the right, Boykins to the left, Luke Nathan down low with Sasso. Hey, that rhymes. I like it. Sasso, ball fake, into the paint, gets goals up in the air. Back in off the glass. 4 2, Randolph. 6 09 on the clock, first quarter action here at County College of Morris. I am the Stack Monster, you're not. Deal with it. McKenna has it. In the paint. Off the rim, no good. Grabs his own rebound. Buckets no good, they call a personal foul on Luke Nathan. That'll be his first. 
I think it's Luke Nathan. I could be wrong, but I'm not. Haha. <laughs> McKinnon in the line. The Cougars trail 4 to 2 at the 555 mark. McKenna's first one off the back iron, no good. McKenna's good on the second, cuts the deficit to one. Randolph set on offense. Boykins curls around the back. Mon has it at the over to Cheng. Are they going to try to post up Nathan down low? I don't know. We shall see. Follow me. Mon flips it right. Nathan has it. Guarded by goals. Nathan up and over goals. Six three. Bevic has it. Over to Lamont. Lamont down low to McKenna. Guarded by Sasso. Hands up. Hands up. Oh, hands up. The bucket is good. 6'5", 518. First quarter action here at County College of Morris. You guessed it, Morris County, New Jersey. Sasso, stop, over to Mon. Mon, that's a three, no good. Back iron, squeezed by Lamont. Lamont brings it up the right side. Mon cuts off his lane, over to the left. Bevich. Nathan playing out on the perimeter to get it down low to McKenna. A little long, a little strong, and the ball belongs to Randolph Rams. 447. 6-5, Randolph in the lead. And the Randolph student section is getting their blood pressure up along with the volume, and the Randolph parents like it. There's a turnover there by Boykins. They get it to Bevic. Bevic! He scores the bucket, even though Chris Chen got a piece of the ball. And it's a 7-6 lead for the Cougars. Ball protection is always a big part of this game of basketball. And the Randolph Rams paid for that turnover. Boykins handles it out on the perimeter. Boykins into the paint. Ball's loose. It's another turnover on the Rams. That's two possessions in a row. Will the Cougars make them pay? If Jack Rooney has anything to say about it, no, deflected away by Mon, but it kicks back out to Lamont. Rooney takes it in the paint, short. Cheng has it. He's got a man on the wing, and Ryan Mon gets it to Mon. Mon gets fouled. Mon will shoot too. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200, but do knock these free throws down, and you get the lead. <laughs> It's not Monopoly money, it's not house money, but we hope his shot is money. That one rattles around, does not go down with 3.45 on the clock. Mon has one more shot to try to tie the score at seven. Substitutions into the game. Number 24, shock and awe, Eric Schutte, the left-handed wonder kid with the smooth as silk stroke, and Andrew Shankman, Shanka Lepore. You don't believe me? Just ask Mike Quick from MSG Varsity as Ryan Mon puts the Rams in seventh heaven at 7-7, seven, seven, the score, 340 on the clock. Lamont takes it, flips it up and in, and it's a two-point lead, 9-7. Tristan Lamont. Lamont, left. Got Chanka Lepore. Over to Nathan. Nathan, right hand. No good. Chanka Lepore with the bucket. Draws the foul. That'll be the third team foul on the Cougars. They whistle Rooney on his first. I'm going to have to tone it down a little bit or I will have no voice by halftime. Shank Lepore, over to Mon. Mon dribbles right, passes it back to the left to Shooty. Eric says, I'm gonna shoot with the right hand even though I'm a lefty. That shot is no good. Rebound, we have a push. They call that on Shank. That'll be the second team foul on the Rams.
And the first on number four, Shanka Lepore. You like that? Number four, Shanka Lepore. I'm just a wizard with the words. Mon giving it Lamont a hard time defensively. Ryan Mon sticking to the ball handler like Band-Aid stuck on me. Bevich looking for an option, can't find one. Rooney pops out, pops back in, he flips it right to Lamont. Colin McKenna guarded. Oh, he's got a cutter down the lane. Stefan goals. It was a nice find by Colin McKenna, number 34, as he dissects the defense. Dr. McKenna with a colonoscopy. Shooty. Oh, his pass gets picked off. Lamont has it behind the back. Oh, Julian Boykins. Oh, did you see that? Julian Boykins with the left hand. Number 30 forces a turnover. Cheng back into the game, replacing Mon, who gets a well-deserved breather. Randolph has the ball with 2-11. They trail 11-7. Turn that around, it's 7-11. Why does 7-11 have locks on their doors if they're open 24-7? I don't know. Eric says, I can shoot, that one's a little long, I'll get you next time. Rebound by the Cougars. Rooney into the paint. And he scores the puck with the left hand for a 13 to seven lead. Boykins into the paint, over to Shank. The Shank shot, no good. Next time we'll look for the Shank shot redemption. Good defense by Shooty. Number, number two is into the game. Cougars, that's Matt Bridall. He's a sophomore and quite a ball player. Bridall with a nice feed to McKenna. McKenna shoots over to the outstretched stretched hand of Shanka Lepore for a 15 7 lead at the 114 mark. We have a timeout on the play as Coach Matt Ty looks to settle it down as the Cougars are in a bit of a run. And they have an eight point lead here in the first quarter of action. But make note of the assistant coaches, no coach, no man is an island, and neither is Matt Ty. Although maybe he's a mountain, I don't know. Could be a mountain of a man, we shall see. His assistant coaches, Pat Dunnigan, Nick Lavender, Joe Blauner, and junior varsity Morris County Tournament Championship coach, Matthew the Hammer, Hammer. And Shannon Cougar, Head coach Todd Irvin is assisted by Dave Schellenhamer and Joe Real. We'll come back at you. Oh, wait a second, we're not coming back at you. We're staying with you because the players are back out on the court. And we'll set the lineups for the Cougars. Number two, Bidal. Number three, Rooney. Number 21, Johnny Maurer. Number 33, John Burkhart. And number five, Stephen Goals. Julian Boykins with the left hand off the glass, and he stops the bleeding for the Rams, who trail by six with less than a minute to go. Number 10, Zach Durbin, is into the game for the Rams, along with Cheng, Shank Lepore, Shooty, and Boykins. We have a whistle on the play with 44.3 on the clock. On the floor, that'll be the first foul on number 15, Chris Chen. Ridal and Rooney doing a nice job at the point guard position. Their quickness is giving the Rams a little bit of trouble here early in the game. We have a foul down low as uh, 21, Johnny Maurer jockeyed for a position with uh, Julian Boykin. They call that on Zach Durbin, number 10. Guess I had the wrong player, I saw a zero. Number 21, Ben Capinos into the game, giving Boykin a rest. But all takes it at the top, guarded by Shooty. Over to Rooney. 
Cheng went for the steal, but Shooty got a handle on it. Shooty to the basket. Shooty going with the left hand. That's a four points in a row for the Rams. It's 15 to 11 as they cut it to four with nine seconds. Chatham will hold for the final shot. Riddall takes it. Over to number five, Gold. Side rim. Time will expire. And we go to the second quarter with the Rams trailing the Chatham Cougars by a score of 15 to 11. We'll come back at you here on Stack Monster Productions. Going back into the game for Randolph as we start the second quarter. Nathan checks back in two along with Durbin, Shooty, and Cheng. Back into the game for the Cougars are Colin McKenna and number 15, Tristan Lamond. As I tone it down to start the second quarter so that I have a voice in the fourth quarter. Come on. Gets it out to Shooty. Shooty, guarded by Maurer, takes it to the left. Goals is there. They find Nathan. Nathan shot. The bank is open here on a Saturday night. And that's six in a row by the Randolph Rams, who cut the deficit to 15 to 13 after trailing 15 to 7. Off of a timeout by Matt Ty. Tom McKenna puts it in, extends the tie. For the Cougars, they lead 17-13. Less than a minute into the second quarter. Zach Durbin with a ball fake. Drives, kicks it out to Chang. Chang rattles around, doesn't go down. Grabbed by Bernal for the Cougars. Bernal takes it up to the right. Flips it back to the left as the double team was coming. McKenna takes it in the paint, spins to his right, and they whistle him. Ladies and gentlemen, when you go traveling, Make sure you bring yourself a nice Samsonite, and that's a suitcase. Seventeen thirteen, Rams trail. Six fifty one here in the second quarter. One guarded by Bradal. Over to Durbin, number ten. Luke Nathan tries to fight down low with goals for position. Durbin is caught down low, kicks it back out to an open Cheng. Chen, his pass back into the middle intended for Durbin is picked off. Lamont, a little too deep, stolen. As Bevich tried to get the ball back and save it, but instead he found Chris Cheng for the Rams. 6.17 on the clock. Rams trail by four. 17-13. Durbin. Settles it down, waits for a cutter. Out pops Shooty to the left. Guarded by... Oh, the bucket is good by Luke Nathan. Luke Nathan showing a nice mid-range game as he floats it up and over with a nice jump shot, nice touch in the paint. 17-15, McKenna on the inside. Into goals, ball's loose, McKenna saves it. Stolen away by Durbin. They say that McKenna reached out of bounds or broke the plane at, at the baseline and it was a turnover anyway. Either way, it's Randolph ball. Let's go, Randolph. A chant of let's go Randolph if you haven't figured it out. Shooty over to the left to Durbin. Durbin, one more pass to the left. Now back to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right. Maughan loses the handle. Saved by Shooty. Shooty over to Durbin. Durbin, ball fake. They whistle him for a suitcase. That's the second suitcase of the game. One suitcase for Chatham, one suitcase for Randolph. Mike Sasso checks back into the game, replacing Durbin, number 35. In for Chatham, number three, Jack Rooney. Lamont, over to Bevich. Bevich brings the ball up court, picked up by the Randolph defense. Lamont. They float it up and inside the goals. Goals is guarded by Nathan. Nathan with a nice defense forces a kick out to McKenna. McKenna's pass intended out was deflected, but it kicks back to McKenna. And McKenna swings it on the inside to a, a cutting Stefan Goals, and Goals puts it in. Stefan scores the goals, and it's a 19 15 lead. Yeah. 
Eric Schutte to the right, two defenders there. Back to Nathan, into the paint, Sasso, guarded by McKenna. Sasso leans into McKenna. They whistle Sasso for a suitcase. McKenna is as strong as they come. And Mike Sasso, strong himself, tried to lean into him, but it was the immovable object against the something force. I don't know how that goes, but you get the picture. 428-1915. Cougars control the ball with the lead. McKenna spins on Sasso and Shooty. Kicks out the Bevich. Nothing there. And Sasso came in on defense. Oh, nice feed inside for McKenna. McKenna to goals. And Stefan scores the goals. I said it before, I say it again. 21-15. Nice passing on the interior by Colin McKenna. The lead is back up to six. Short shot. Ball's over to the Cougars. Capinos will check back into the game at the next whistle for the Rams. As he's at the scores table. Coach Pat Dunnigan gives him some instructions as Goals takes it into the paint. Can't get it to go with the right hand, but he threw the contact. The Randolph fans don't agree, but to no avail. That's the first, first person on Nick Nathan. But Stefan will go to the free throw line, looking to score two free throws. Goals is good on the first. Shank Lepore, number four, and number 21, Pacinos, back into the game. The lead is out to seven with 3.33 left in the half. Goals has a nice rotation, knocks down the second shot, and it's 23 to 15. Rams had cut it to 17 to 15, but a five nothing run by the Chatham Cougars. Mon, check that out. Chen can't connect from the right side. John 316 on the clock. Chen guards the call. That's Sly Robinson with the call. The immortal Sly Robinson whistles a personal foul on Chen, his second. 16 fouls on the Rams, one more and the Cougars will be in a bonus situation with over three minutes left in the half. Rooney has it at the top. Randolph desperately needs a stop on the defensive end and a good possession in the ensuing offensive possession. Goals inside to McKenna. McKenna strong on the inside, rattles around, doesn't go down. Sasso gets the rebound and he gets pushed from behind. That could be the first on McKenna and it is. That's the first foul on Colin McKenna. That's a key for the Chatham Cougars. Colin McKenna, at times this season, has gotten into some foul trouble. They can keep him out of foul trouble, and he goes to the bench with under three minutes left in the lead. As Coach Irvin doesn't want him to pick up two fouls in the first half. Excellent strategy by Coach Irvin. It's no wonder Chatham is in the finals or in the final four just about every year. Shank Lepore down low, shot is blocked by Goals. Stefan Goals doing it on both ends of the floor here in the second quarter. He's got two field goals on the inside off of nice passes from McKenna and two free throws. That's at least six points I can count right now. And I can't count very well, so don't be alarmed. Sasso, spin around with the left hand, no good. Goals grabs it, they call a jump ball. Possession arrow favors the Cougars. As the Rams have been unable to score on the offensive end since cutting the lead to 17 to 15, they now trail by eight, 23 to 15, 222 on the clock. You are watching second quarter action for County College of Morris on Stack Monster Productions. The shot is short by Rooney.
There's a whistle on the play. And that's a 17 foul on the Rams. That's a bonus situation for the Cougars. That's the first foul on number 35, Mike Sasso. Number 33, there's a miss. That John Burkhart can't connect on the front end of the one and one. And Boykins fades away, no good. Strong rebound by Goals. As I said, he's doing it on both ends of the floor. Ball's loose, tipped away, Sasso got a hand on it. Julian Boykins with 155, takes it into the paint, floats it up, little contact, no call. Ball's loose, on the floor, Tristan Lamont. I think the Randolph players are looking for a travel as Lamont skidded across the floor. But I think there was a foul called before that. They call a foul on number 35, Mike Sasso. That's two in a row on Sasso. And Lamont will go to the line. So Lamont hit the deck. He skidded with the ball. It would have been a suitcase. But there was a push prior to that. And that's why Lamont is shooting a one and one. He's good on the first for a 24 to 15 lead. And number 10, Zach Durbin will come into the game. And Mike Sasso will sit with 2,147 on the clock during the first half. Lamont, with a nice spin, too strong, grabbed by Schutte, who's into the game. Eric Schutte, over to Mon. Mon into the paint, out to Durbin. Durbin, everywhere you look defensively, there's a white jersey right now for the Rams, even when they penetrate and kick. The Cougars are doing a tremendous job defensively. They might need to hit some outside shots to try to bring the Cougars out away from the basket. That three-pointer, or long two by Mon, was just a little bit short. Number 33, Burkhart, spins to the right and banks it in off the glass. And it's a nine-point lead, 26 to 15. Number 21, Capinos, out to Durbin. Durbin into the paint, flips to the shank, and Andrew Shankala pours it into the bucket for two, and again stops the bleeding with 55 seconds. Stops the run by Chatham, it's 26 to 17, 48 seconds. Timeout by Coach Irvin for the Cougars as he looks to set up a good shot with 46.9 seconds on the clock here in the first half of action. Right now the team foul situation, Cougars are good with only four. And they're in the bonus as well with 18 fouls on the Rams. Matt Ty, no doubt, trying to settle down his Rams. This game is by, game is by no means out of reach here in the first half. But there is a nine point deficit. So the Rams are going to have to get stops. As I said, they're going to have to probably hit some outside shots as nothing seems to be working on the interior with the size and strength of Goals, Bevich, McKenna. Even their guards, Tristan Lamont, have a lot of height. If they can hit some outside shots and pull the Cougars away from the basket, they may get something down low later in the game. We shall see. The Randolph fans are desperate for a stop here and maybe a bucket to close out the half. <laughs> Both coaches doing a nice job. There was a nice timeout earlier in the half by Ty, which stemmed the tide, and, and they went on a little bit of run, and then Irvin with a heads-up timeout there, setting up a good possession. Inside to number 33, he bobbles it. Fans wanted a suitcase, they didn't get it. 25 seconds, Rooney handles at the top, guarded by Schutte. Takes it in, pulls it back out. He's gonna hold for one shot. Eric Schutte giving him a hard time defensively. We're down to 13. Rooney takes it in the paint, no good. Burkhart with the rebound, they're gonna get, I think, Shank Lepore on the floor. Yes, Shank Lepore got his right hand up and over the right shoulder of the Cougar. 
And they whistle in for the foul, his second. Nine seconds on the clock, and Burkhart will shoot. That's giving uh, I don't know if they're giving him two shots or a one and one. I don't know if they say he slapped him in the act of shooting. He did get him on the shoulder. I think Ty, Matt Ty, having a talk with Sly Robinson, I think questioning him on that possible suitcase that traveled down in the left baseline before you saw the video. You can uh, figure it out yourself based on what you saw. Hopefully I got it on video. I have, I have an impartial observer, an objective fan who says it was definitely a walk. So, hey, just call me Fox. I report, you decide. Burkhart with his shot is no good. Rebound, eight seconds. Boykin, six seconds. Randolph, four seconds. Boykin pops, 1.7, short. Rebound by Durbin, blocked by goals at the buzzer. And you see the score. We go to halftime with the Chatham Cougars leading the Randolph Rams by a score of 26 to 17. You are tuned into Statmaster Productions. Come back for second half action. See you then. We are back for second half action. Ryan Mon, Julian Boykins, Mike Sasso, Chris Cheng, and Luke Nathan on the court for the Rams. Kristen Lamont. Goals. McKenna. Bevich and Rooney on the floor for the Cougars. There's a whistle to open up the second half. That'll be the first on 15, Tristan Lamont. Boykin will go to the line shooting two. The Rams trail by nine at the half. Make that eight. Ain't that great? I'll tell you after this shot. Boykin, nice release. Nothing but net for Boykin. And two points off the bat. Ten seconds into the second half, 26-19. I'm on three bars on my battery, but I got a spare battery in my front pouch. I'm like a marsupial with my hoodie on. The kangaroo man. I got a little bounce to my step at 52 years old. Hallelujah. Rooney takes it from Bevich at the top. Guarded by Chris Cheng, number 15 for Randolph. Over to Goals. Goals at a monster first half for the Cougars. Bevich in the corner. Over to Goals. Goals spins. Nothing there. He kicks it out to Bevich. Bevich takes it baseline. Passes it back out. Oh! What teamwork between Gold and Bevich. Bevich to Goals. Goals back to Bevich. Bevich with an easy layup from the right hand side. 28 19. Inside to Nathan. Nathan gets stripped by McKenna. Tristan Lamont out in front. He's going to have two. No, he blows a layup! He blows a layup. Whistle on the play. McKenna grabbed the rebound. And they whistle Nathan. That's his second personal. And McKenna will shoot. Lamont looked like he had an easy layup. The layup was blown, but McKenna grabbed the rebound and got fouled by Nathan. He makes the first one for a 10-point lead. 29-19. Second one is good. Nothing but net for McKenna. And a 30-19 lead for the Rams. Check that, the Cougars. Ryan Mon. Handles at the point. Kicks it to Boykin. Boykin from three. Gets fouled. And it's good! Boykin! He nails it! He says, Corona Looter! That's the name! And we'll knock that bucket down the drain! That makes it 30 to 22. 
And Boykin will go to the line looking to complete a four point play with 6-16 in the third. Rattles around and goes down. 30 to 33, a seven point lead. The fans are getting a little more juice in their juice box. Chance of defense. Lamont into the paint, right hand, no good. McKenna, McKenna is strong despite a hand in his face. Extends the lead to 32 to 23. Boykin, right, long three, rattles around, does not go down. Offensive rebound by Nathan. Nathan gets fouled. Luke Nathan will go to the line and he'll shoot two. Stephon Goals with his first. Nathan's first is a little bit long and a little bit strong. What went wrong? I don't know, but he shoots one more. Let's hope it goes. And it does. Two twenty-four, eight point deficit. Or a point lead, depending on your perspective. Tipped away by Sasso. Oh, stolen by Lamont. Lamont from three. Back rim. No good. Whistle. Much to the chagrin of the Ram faithful. It goes against the Ram. I don't know much, ladies and gentlemen, but I know this. The Randolph fans seem annoyed. McKenna, guarded by Nathan. Spin to the left. Short. Nathan got a piece of that. Grabs it, gets it to Boykin. Boykin, number 30. Into the paint. Blocked but foul. That's two in a row on Lamont. Lamont says, I can't believe, I can't believe you made that call. But he did. With five minutes and 10 seconds on the clock. That's the third personal on number 15, Tristan Lamont. Boykin will shoot two. First one skidding off the front rim and in. A rim and inner. Seven point is the difference. Boykin, left handed shot, rattles around, goes down. 32-26, as we look for a, a tight game, something that goes down to the wire, something that people will want to watch. Like two years ago, that 74 to 72, whatever, win, spin move, oh, they whistle. Sasso is gonna get called for the personal, I believe. Strong move down low by Dr. McKenna, as he goes to the line, looking to operate with a colonoscopy. A lot of people don't know this about Colin, but he's tough and he's, an, he's a cougar on the court, but he's a gentle giant off the court. A fine young man. Raised well by Mr. and Mrs. McKenna. A shout out to the McKennas. Nice job, folks, nice job. McKenna was good on the first, 33-15. 33-15, wait, the scoreboard has gone haywire. <laughs> All right, there we go. We're magically back to 33-26. to They must have had some lucky charms, they're magically delicious. And speaking of lucky charms, folks, will the second shot by Colin McKenna be a, a lucky charm itself? And it's not. Oh, but it's tipped back out. And effect an offensive rebound by the Cougars. And they'll get another possession with a chance to make this a three or four point opportunity as McKenna hit one of two. And swinging around the perimeter. 
McKenna with Durbin fighting for position. It was tipped by Shank Lafour. And they call a suitcase on goal. That suitcase was brought to you by the Shank Man, number four, Shank Lafour. Chance of You Can't Do That by the Randolph student section. Shank Lepore over to Mon. Mon drives. Rooney was there defensively. Wise decision. Smart play by Ryan Mon. Oh! Julian Boykins! Julian Boykins pulls the trigger. Say it with me now. Call Roto Rooter. That's the name. And he'll knock that bucket down the drain. A miss on the other end. Squeezed by Boykins. 33 to 29. Boykins, nice speed in the Mon. Mon, sensing the defensive presence of goals, tried to pass it back out. And the ball was deflected out of bounds by the Rams. The Cougars will have it. The Cougars lead the Rams by a score of 33 to 29. There are three minutes and 46 seconds remaining here in the third quarter of action. You are tuned in to Stack Monster Productions. You can find Stack Monster Productions on www.youtube.com. It all over to Goals. Goals finds Lamont. Lamont floats it in. Nice touch on the pass. And McKenna knocks it down. McKenna with a Tarzan move. Oh! And he'll go to the line to complete a three point play. Durbin picks up the personal, his second, third team foul on the Rams. McKenna at the line. Rattles around, doesn't go down. Shooty grabs it. 35 29, Chatham in the lead. Shooty, pull up jumper, left hand. Rattles around, doesn't go down. Boykins on the floor, tries to keep it alive. They call a jump ball. Sly Robinson, Johnny on the spot. Is he Johnny on the spot or Sly on the fly? I don't know. Either way, it's a jump ball and the possession goes over to the Cougars. Goodall brings the ball up to the left side. He's got McKenna, Rooney, Goals, Lamont on the court. They float another one in to McKenna. McKenna strong. McKenna again. McKenna pumps his fist and says, get on my back, boys. I'm going to bring it home. Another colonoscopy brought to you by Dr. McKenna. Andrew shank missed down low. Grabbed by McKenna. McKenna over to Ro Rooney. 37-29. Chatham, Rooney, cross court, long pass over to Bredal. Back to Lamont, Lamont takes it to the right. Guarded by Boykin, Boykin. Lamont, off the rim, to the right, no good. Loose ball foul. McKenna, pumps his fist again. On Eric Schutte, his first. Four team fouls apiece. We're only in the third quarter. Both teams have four team fouls. Looks like if things continue, if this trend continues, both teams will be in a bonus situation for quite a while. But we shall see. So follow me. Goals out to McKenna. Goals put the team on. That ball is blocked by Shanka Lepore. Nice play by Andrew Shankalapur who says, I'm going to have something to say about this game before it's over. Eight point lead. There's a conference between Sly and the man with the salty colored hair, I, you know, I'm rather fond of salty colored hair, as you might imagine. 
Inside the goals and goals scores the field goal and it's a 10-point lead. But the Chad and Cougar fans are ecstatic. Under two minutes to go. Shooty to Shank, Shank to Shooty. Eric with the shot, rattles around, doesn't go down. Goals with the rebound. Goals, long outlet, finds number 21 across court. Pull up jumper by Rooney is good. Extends the lead to 12. Number 21, Johnny Maurer. With a nice five. Matt Ty's going to call a timeout. With 20, 129 on the clock. And the Cougar fans, the Cougar parents, look at the Cougar parents up there. They are ecstatic. As Dr. McKenna, Colin McKenna, that is number 34, has put the Cougars on his back here in the second half just as Stefan Goals did in the first half. And we're gonna go into the fourth quarter in one minute and 29 seconds. And unless something changes, the Cougars will have a double digit lead. Reset the lineups. Cougars have Rooney, Goals, Goodall, Burkhart, and Maurer on the court. Rams counter with Shooty, Cheng, Nathan, Sasso, and Maughan. Rams in desperate need of a run to close out the third quarter as they trail by double digits. Sasso over to Nathan. Nathan guarded by Gold. Over to Shooty. Shooty with the short jumper. Shooty is good. Steps inside the three-point arc. Cuts it to ten. Good ball movement on that possession as they freed up Eric Schutte with an and oh, but all stepped on the baseline and that's a turnover on the Cougars with 101 on the clock and the Rams in the final minute of the third look to get it back to single digits. Will they get another solid possession? with ball movement and get a nice open look, a good shot. Shooty has a look. Shooty short. Luke Nathan grabs it. Oh! But they whistle Nathan. But they get Nathan on a push off down low. I don't know. The fans don't agree. Matt Ty says, Andrew, Shanka Lepore get in the game because we got to get Luke out of there because he just picked up, I think, his third personal. Whether or not you agree with the call, the call stands. Because the man with the stripes on his shirt is the law, and I fought the law, and the law won. 41-31. Cougars with a 10-point lead and possession with 35 seconds on the clock in the third. McKenna. Dribbles right, gets it to Rooney. Rooney pulls it back. Cougars holding for a final shot. 18 seconds. Rams do not want to give up a bucket to close out the third. They came into the third trailing by nine. They trail by 10. Vaughn got a piece of that. But the Cougars got it back. Rooney off his foot and out of bounds. And with 3.9, the Randolph Rams are gonna look to score and get some momentum going in. They're gonna bring some three-point shooters off the bench, I do believe. Chen comes out, in comes Boygan. Boygan has at least one three here in the third quarter. 3.2, Boygan loses the handle and will go to the fourth quarter. And you see the score, 41 to 31. I'm gonna change my battery and come back at you on Stat Monster Production. You are tuned in to Stack Monster Productions as we begin the fourth quarter of action. Ryan Maughan handles. Randolph looking to cut down a 10-point deficit. 
Eric Schutte into the paint, lost the handle. Bidal came up with it. Bidal out to Lamont. Lamont saves. The pass was a little bit long, but he runs it down. Schutte goes for the steal, doesn't get it. They call a backcourt violation. Cougars don't agree. Randolph fans. Now the Randolph fans don't agree. Objectively, I do believe Schutte got a hand on the ball. But what do I know? Either way, it was a heck of a defensive play by Eric Schutte. As I got to go to the stand to avoid the head of the fan. Randolph maintains possession. Ryan Mon into the paint. Ryan Mon, he'll go to the line and shoot two. I adjust my tripod. Don't take that the wrong way. 7.27 left in the game. Ryan Mon at the line. Nails the first one. Nothing but net. And it's a nine point game. Mon with his second. Ryan Mon is calm, cool, and collected in every situation. Ryan Mon with ice water in his veins. Just the type of temperament the Rams will need for a comeback in this game. But the Cougars came to play today. They whistle another foul. We are heading towards a bonus situation very shortly. One more for the Rams and the Cougars are in a bonus. Two more for the Cougars and the Rams are in a bonus. And that's three on Sasso. Durbin back into the game for the Rams. Boykins, Shank, Shooty, Durbin, and Maughan. I count four former New Jersey Thunder players, teammates of the Stack Monster Junior, Sam Stackhouse, on the court. Goals from long range, no good. They bring the ball down the court. Shooty out to Boykins. Boykins takes it right. They into the corner to Shank. Shank dribbles left. Out to Shooty. Shooty into the paint. Shooty draws the contact. Goals doesn't agree. But it counts just like the others. That's on McKenna. They whistle McKenna down low. That's three on McKenna now. Ladies and gentlemen, understand this. Colin McKenna has been a force in that second half. He has three personals. That may or may not change the way he plays down low in the paint. Will he be aggressive? Or will he have to lay off not wanting to pick up his fourth foul as Shooty misses the first free throw. That bears watching as we go forward with the Rams at the line trailing 41 to 33. <laughs> now the Rams, on the other hand, have quite a few of their big players in foul trouble as well as Shooty knocks down the second off the back rim and Chen checks back into the game. Sasso also has three for the Rams, and that's going to impact possibly the way he's playing defensively. It'll be bear watching how the coaches have their big men play with three fouls and a lot of time left here in the fourth quarter. It's a seven point difference in the game. Cougars have led for most of the game. I'm trying to remember back. Randolph may have had a, a lead by one point at some point. McKenna's short on the shot. Goals gets the rebound, and he puts it back in. Chegg Lepore had his hands up, but he had to be careful not to commit a personal foul. Either team will be in a bonus with the next foul on either team. That's a lot of eaters. Mon, pass was deflected. Jump ball goes to the Cougars. Ryan Mon got caught in between a pass and a shot. I think he thought he had a look, but then the defender was there. At the last minute, decided to try to pass the ball inside, but it was deflected by the Cougars. And the Cougars have the ball. That's a mistake you don't want to make. As there was a 
a question about whose water was on the floor. It was a, a nice, a nice member's mark, purified water, very thirst quenching, as Cheng, oh, blocked by Nathan, but the ball deflects to Bevich, another offensive rebound, another offensive rebound, and this time, the Thunder, the Thunder, the Rams come down with it. They whistle the foul on the Cougars. They call that foul on goals, number five. And Luke Nathan will shoot a one and one. Every, every shot, every possession is critical. Nathan, it's short. And the rebound comes down. Forty-three, thirty-four. Nine-point game. Steal by Mon. It was deflected by Boykin. Mon tries to take it, but the Cougars get back defensively. Mon has a look from three. Front iron, no good. Nathan grabs the board, and he gets fouled down low. They whistle it on McKenna. That will be his fourth. Coach Irvin does not bring anybody to the scorer's table. It looks like, wait, he looks back. Will he leave McKenna in? He, it looks like he's will. He's willing to gamble. Nathan shoots, and he's running on the first. With five minutes and 13 seconds remaining in the half. Nathan at the line, looking to make this a game. It wasn't that long ago they trailed by an even dozen. Nathan, nothing but net on both. He cuts the lead to 43 to 36. McKenna stays in the game with four personals. As I take a sip of water. Purified water. Is there any other kind? Blocked by Nathan. Kicks to Boykins. Boykins on the wing to Cheng. Cheng, pass went off the feet, but Cheng gets it back. They call a kick ball, and it was. Went to a basketball game and a soccer game broke out. But the man in the striped suit settles it down and we're back under control here. Mon will inbound the ball. 4.52 on the clock, Chatham 43. Randolph 36, Boykins in the corner. Takes a baseline. Left hand, up and over, too long. Rooney with the board. Come on, boys. Randolph might have been wise there to move the ball around and look for a shot. You can decide. But it's close enough. They don't want to be hasty. Lamont, feed, inside. Shooty read that pass perfectly. Eric Shooty deflects it. We have, we have a technical foul. I don't know who they called it on. I got to go up full because the woman with the... Burgundy hoodie is in my way, but she's pretty pumped up. So what are we gonna do? What'd they call? Technical foul. They, they call the technical foul on number. Who they get? They got Tristan Lamont with the technical. That'll give. That'll give free throw and possession. Boykins will shoot the free throw. And he fails the first. And it's 43 to 37. One more foul on Chatham, and it'll be the double bonus situation for the Rams. And Boykins nails the second one. And the lead is down to five. Randolph will maintain possession. Two free throws. A bucket here can make it a four-point play. A three can make it a five-point play. 421 on the clock. Possession arrow favors the Rams. Boykins from three. Back iron, no good. Come on, D.F. 
Randolph wasn't able to capitalize on that opportunity. He had a clean look, but it was not to be. 355. Rooney guarded by Cheng. Rooney. Cheng got a hand on it, but Rooney maintained it. Control. Over to Lamont. Pressure by the defense. McKenna with four fouls has it out on the perimeter. In the goal. Stripped from behind by Boykins. Boykins turns it back over. Boykins with a nice strip, but he turned it right back over. And Boykins, after the strip and the turnover, commits the personal. And that's a bonus situation. McKenna will go to the line, looking to hit the front end of a one and one. That could be a big turn of events as McKenna knocks it down, makes it 44 38, back up to six. It was down to five, and Randolph had possession with a chance to cut it further. They couldn't capitalize. They had a steal on the defensive end, but turned it right back over to commit the foul, and that turned in to two points for the Cougars. What could be a, a four or five point turnaround, 3.37 on the clock. And there's a timeout in the action with the Chatham Cougars leading the Randolph Rams by a score of 45 to 38. If you're the Rams, you try to keep attacking the basket and move the ball around with McKenna in foul trouble. If you're the Chatham Cougars, you focus on ball protection. Move the ball around on the offensive end. Don't turn the ball over and take the layup when it materializes. Rams have to take chances. Cougars have to play fundamental basketball. What will happen in the last three minutes and 37 seconds? Keep on watching and find out. Although you already know the score if you're watching the broadcast, but I don't care. I'm saying it anyway. It's my broadcast, my YouTube channel, so I can say what I want. I sound a lot like Donald Trump now, don't I? Anyway. I filled the air time during the timeout. That's all that matters. Whether you like it or not. Of course, you could turn the volume down. Randolph has it. They trail by seven. 45-38. Boykin over to Shooty. Shooty's had a hot hand when he's got clean looks at the basket. They might want to think about getting an open look for Shooty. Move the ball around. Shooty into the paint. No good. Nathan with the rebound. Turn around. Jumper. No good. Shooty. Shooting at foul from behind. That could be five on McKenna. I think it is. That could be five on McKenna. That is five personal fouls. Now that will that change the trajectory of the final? Three minutes and four seconds. That's a double bonus situation, so Eric Shooty will shoot two with 3.04 on the clock left in the game. And a chance to cut the lead by the Cougars to five. Number 21 will check into the game for the Cougars. Goes by the name of Johnny Maurer, or Mora. M-A-U-R-E-R. -E -R. Pronounce it how you want. Shooty to the line for two. Everybody quiets down and says, Eric, shh. Eric, shh. Shooty. Battles around, doesn't go down. One more for Shooty. Settles in. Launches. It is good. Nothing but that. Six point game. It is, a two, it is a two possession game now. Two stops, and two buckets, and we could take this thing down to the wire. Mallor off of the knee of Durbin. Durbin, Shooty, Cheng, 
Maughan and Nathan on the court. Mauer, Goals, Rooney, Rudolph on the court, and Lamont on the court for the Cougars. Nathan takes a seat, and into the game comes Boykin. Six point game, pressure by the Rams. They ball blocking foul down low. That'll be on Shooty, I believe it to be his second. We'll know in a second. That's correct, it is his second. Randolph putting the pressure defensively with the full court press. Rooney will go to the line in a bonus situation. He makes the first, he gets the second. Cougars have a six point lead with exactly three minutes left on the clock. 180 seconds left in this game. Rooney is money on the first. Watch out, Luke. Rooney sets for his second. And Rooney is money for a 20 on the second. 47-39. Chang has a look for three. Chris says. Number 15 says, cha-ching, cha-ching from three, and it's 47-42. Rooney, out to goals, goals over to Lamont. Lamont, back to goals, guarded by Nathan, who's back in the game. Number 15, number 15, Chris says, cha-ching. Timeout on the play, 2.29 on the clock. 47 Cougars, 42 Rams. We're coming back at you on Talk About the Productions. Cougars have it after the timeout. They lead by five, 47 42. Rooney on the perimeter. Chris Cheng. Rooney. Chatham with five point lead will be more than happy to take time off the clock and force the Rams to foul because if they make it a, a free throw shooting game, they fouled the wrong guy based on the evidence, the empirical evidence that we've gathered so far says that Rooney is money from the line. Jake Bevich back into the game. Jack Rooney at the line. They're back. They're back. They work out a glitch in the scoreboard here at County College. And once they get things settled, Jack Rooney will be shooting a bonus, a one and one. Cougars hope for two makes. Rams hope for a miss and a rebound. And a chance to cut into a five point deficit. Rooney rattles around, goes down, much to the chagrin of the Ram faithful. Don't let him get the ball! 8.28 p.m., County College, Morris County Tournament Final. Cougars leading 48-42 with 2.07. Rattles around, doesn't go down. And the championship in the balance. Boykin into the paint, throws it up. No! Lamont turns around, gets it to Rooney. Foul on Nathan. He'll send goals to the line with 144. Right now it's a two possession game. Everybody's shooting two from here on out as it's a double bonus with both teams. Matt Ty calls his players over the bench well, goals, is it a timeout? It is a timeout by Matt Ty. As we go into the huddle.
Matt Ty telling the boys to be strong. Free throw here can make it a three possession game with 144 on the clock. Goals at the line, big free throws for Stefan Goals. Goals launches, he's short on the first. Boykins and Shankalapur down low, look to box out on a rebound. Shooting waits over by midcourt, hoping for a pass. Second one is good, 49-42, seven points. Rams can play for the first good shot. They can go for a layup if one materializes. There's a look from three, it's gonna be short. One and done on the shot. They got a trap, timeout on the play. We'll come back at you after the timeout for the final one minute and 29 seconds. With the Chatham Cougars leading in the championship game of the Morris County Tournament 2016, the 47th annual Morris County Boys Basketball Tournament, 49-42, Cougars. Rooney, Vidal, Goals, Mauer and Lamont for the Cougars. Durbin. Cheng, Capinos, Boykins, and Shooty. Seven point game. Long pass to Lamont. Cheng tries to foul. No call. In the goals. Goals. Fouled on the floor by Cheng. Cheng, Cheng had to do what he had to do. Goals. Goals did his job as well. Goals will shoot two. Seven point lead. It's a three possession game. Even if Goals hits these, it's still a three possession game. However, Randolph would need three stops and three threes in the final minute and 16 to tie the game. That could be five on Cheng, I don't know. Oh, right here? We're gonna come back at you. In the middle? That's our, that's, that's my kids. Timeout is over and play is resumed. It's Stefan Goals at the free throw line. Goals looks to give the Cougars a nine point lead with two free throws in only a minute and 16 ticks on the clock. And he does, late in the game, the Cougars have hit their free throws and hence an eight-point lead. Goals with his second, rattles around and goes down. The Cougars know that the Rams are going to have to shoot the three ball and they're going to have to shoot it quick as time keeps on ticking, ticking, ticking into the future. Shooty off the back iron, no good. Grabbed by Durbin. Durbin, layup, no good. Ball's loose on the floor. Time out. Don't know who had possession when the timeout came. They can't. They can't. I'm thinking Matt Ty might have saw Shank or one of his players trap Durbin with a hand on the ball and called a quick timeout, but there's only 59.8. And the Randolph Rams need points, and they need points in a hurry as they trail 51 to 42, 59.8 on the clock. The teams break the huddle after the timeout. And I was incorrect. The timeout was by Chatham, who maintains possession. Randolph has to take chances, and they do. Outlet to Maurer. Maurer's pass goes out of bounds. A fortuitous turn of events for the Rams. Rams got 
Eric Schutte on the floor, and Boykin, and Mon, who can all hit a three. Shank Lepore, Andrew Shank has been known to knock one down from deep range as well. What they need is a good clean look and quick. Boykins takes it into the paint. He'll stop the clock and go to the line and shoot two. Not that much went off the clock. 48 seconds remain. Boykins can knock him down. Cut it to seven. Still a three possession game. They're going to need to foul or steal. Foul and hope for misses or steal and get a quick bucket. Durbin back into the game. Fifty-one forty-three with 48 seconds. 48 seconds, stand between the Cougars and victory. Rebound by Lamont, jump ball. Oh, what a job by, is that, was that Zach Durbin? Zach Durbin and Ben Capinos were down low. I think Durbin tied him up and gets the ball back for the Rams. If they can get a quick layup or a three-pointer right here, it'll make it a two-possession game and hope, hope will prevail. Boykins into the paint, left hand, and in! Quick timeout by Matt Ty as Boykins cuts it to six. And now Randolph can put the pressure on. They can go for a quick steal and a trap. Or if that doesn't work, foul and look for Chatham to miss at the line. However, Chatham has been pretty good from the line here in the second half. So I think Ty's gonna play it aggressively here. Both teams in the double bonus as we look at the clock. 40 seconds. Rams have scored four quick points with only about 18 seconds elapsing off the clock since they trailed by nine. Come on, Randall! Who's at three points? I don't know. Hey, folks. Get a calculator, do not follow my math because it's fuzzy. Fuzzy math. We have a hold. Off the ball, there's a hold, loose ball foul. On shooty of the Rams. Two shots for Maurer. Now Maurer, don't know much about Maurer. He came in the game after McKenna fouled out. Well, we know this about Maurer. He was money on the first. And it's now a three possession game once again. Seven points. 40.4. Maurer knocks them both down. He gives the Cougars an eight point lead. Boykins takes the ball up court. Boykins into the paint. Boykins layup is good. Six seconds off the clock. 34.3 remain. Another timeout. And it's back down to six. Randolph desperately needs the ball back. We're going to come back at you after the timeout. Here on Stack Monster Productions. Goals will inbound the ball for Chatham. Long to Bidal. Bidal loses the handle. Gets it back. Bidal into the paint. Bidal will shoot two. Mon went for the steal. Apparently got some skin and not just ball. Mac Bidal shooting two. Wearing number two on the back of his jersey. It looks to score two. First one rattles around, goes down. It's 54 to 47, a seven point game once again. Rams came oh so close to a steal. As it all lost the handle. Maughan tried to go for it, but got whistled for the foul. 55-47. Boykins launches from three. No good. Rebound. 
Off of the head. Eric Schutte grabs it. Mon underneath. Mon will shoot too. Schutte, Eric Schutte, number 24, kept that ball alive. It went off the coconut of one of the Chatham players. Coconut, that's code for head. What? Julian Boykin is bleeding from the right side of his cheek. I don't know what happened. But Boykin is on the sideline as the cut man works on him in the corner. And Maughan with 17.6 is going to shoot two. As the Rams trail the Cougars 55 to 47. Maughan is good for the first. 55 48. Didn't see what happened to Boykins. You might be able to pick it up on the video. There was a lot of body ba bodies banging around down low. Number 50. Nate Nathaniel Aiken into the game. Number 50 for the Rams replacing Boykins. Second one is good by Maughan. Six, six point game, 55 to 49, but only 17. Point six pets on the clock. But right now it's pretty simple. If Chatham makes their free throws, Chatham will come home with a Morris County Tournament Championship here on the 27th of February, 2016. Mac Vidal made two last time out. And he looks to try to put this game away for the Cougars. First one rattles around and goes down. And with a three possession game and only 17 seconds, the hope is growing dim for the Rams. But all has been money. He hits four in a row. And the Cougars, who stepped up to the plate after Colin McKenna went out, in the fourth quarter, and with 16 seconds, Maughan drives in the basket, no good, Goals grabs it, and 10 seconds left, and ladies and gentlemen, the Chatham Cougars are gonna take home the Morris County Tournament Championship as we go into the Chatham Cougar huddle. The Chatham Cougars, Colin McKenna, and get some action. There they are, ladies and gentlemen, the 2016 Morris County Tournament Champion, Chatham Cougars, Colin McKenna, number 34. There's Stephon Goals, kept him in the game, led the charge of the first half for the Cougars. Colin McKenna put the Cougars in the third quarter on his back. Stellar point guard play by Jack Rooney and Mac Riddall. We have the trophy presentation. Let's get a look at the champs of the 2016 Morris County Tournament. You are tuned in to Stack Monster Productions. There they are, the champs. You can. There it is, man in the middle, Colin McKenna. Colin McKenna. How does it feel, Colin McKenna, to be a tournament champion? I get the first interview, and I'm not even supposed to be here. Hey, you're the best interviewer. Hey, it feels awesome. Thank you for supporting us. Congratulations, man. Your team stepped up and had your back. How does that feel to have good teammates? I got the best teammates in the world. I love these guys. These are my brothers. Uh, I wouldn't want to play with anyone else, and next year it's not going to be the same. Colin, good luck to you, brother. Thank you. Yes. Nice job, buddy. That just about wraps it up. We hope you enjoyed watching the 2016 Morris County Tournament Championship here on Stack Monster Productions. I'm the Stack Monster. You're not. 
You don't care because the Chatham Cougars are the champs. So let's hear it for the Chatham Cougars oh, and the Randolph Rams. Far, hard fought game by the Rams. We love the Rams. They played their hearts out, ladies and gentlemen. Champion, championship plaques are awarded to the following. Chatham High School, number 12, Graham Lamont. Now there were the official, the official media. Okay, let's do the plaques again. Number 12, Graham Lamont. Number two, Matt Bradle. Oh, so it's Bradle, not Number Bradle. Number three, Jack Mooney. Number 15, Tristan Lamont. Number 5, Stephon Gold. Number 11, Matt Gentile. Number 13, Jacob Fevich. Number 14, Kurt Sacco. Number 23, Ryan Gecker. Number 21, Johnny Mauer. Number 1, Donnie McCullough. Number 33, John Burgard. Number 34, Colin McKenna. And number 4, Harrison Cote. Chatham coaches, Mr. Dave Schellenhammer. Mr. Joe Rio. And the head coach, Mr. Todd Irvin. Your all tournament team, selected by the Morris County coaches. From Morris Catholic, Amir Allen. From Randolph, Luke Nathan. From Randolph, Julian Boykins. From Chatham, Jack Rooney. From Chatham, Colin McKenna. And your most valuable player of the 47th Annual Morris County Boys Basketball Tournament. From Chatham, number five, Stefan Gold. Need I say more? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. And again, on behalf of the Morris County coaches and athletic directors and principals, thank you for watching Stack Monster Productions. Our appreciation as Colin and McKenna gets a real professional facilities. interview this time. Special thanks to Morris Rangers and our athletic director in charge, Mr. Robert.